achievers, one of the things about the go, go, go uh, feeling that they have is that they often can be susceptible to burning out because mm -hmm. they can never stop. Yep. Uh, in fact, Ariana Huffington, she has an uh, achiever in her top five, and she's even written a book about it because she uh, went so intensely, and I think it was her achiever that drove her, um, that she burned out. How do you prevent against that, and also how do you prevent against it even with your colleagues? Right, it's a great question. Uh, I would say that early in my career, I had a boss that came to me and said like, you don't want to be like me when you're 40. I was 26 at the time. And he was a very senior person. I said, what are you talking about? Like, you're the, this is the kind of job I want to have when I'm your age and you're so admired and respected. He says, yeah, I, I watch you and I see a lot of me in you. And he said, do you think I should be the, on the executive team of the company? I said, of course, you're smarter than everybody here. Everybody knows that. He said, why do you think I'm not? And I sort of paused and said, oh, never thought about that. Why aren't you a vice president? Why are you a director? You, you, you actually have more talent than a lot of the vice presidents, so why aren't you? And then he said, look at me. He said, I'm a mess. He said, I'm, look at my office. Look at my car. Look at the way I'm dressed. Look at the, like, I, I'm a stressful wreck. Um, I, haven't, I don't have balance in my life. And people see that, and they worry just because I have the intellectual ability to do jobs at a higher level. Can I handle, will I be able to handle it? He said, look at the executives. They're all calm. They don't get flustered. They're not yelling. They're not, like, agitated. They're, they're, their shirts are tucked in. They're, 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 they're poised, and I'm not. And I, this has happened because I haven't learned how to control myself and regulate myself and separate work. I think about it all the time. He said, you better learn that. And that was powerful to come from somebody who I admired and respected. But then as he was explaining what, because he had some tendencies that were bad in terms of how he managed. He was a bit autocratic. He had, so there's some parts of what he did I didn't like. But when he explained that to me, it was, it was kind of a shock. Um, and, I, and I did a lot of self-reflection and I realized, okay, I'm not as balanced as I need to be. I need to learn how to turn things off. Um, and so, you know, I've never, I don't schedule meetings on weekends. I don't, I'm careful about sending emails even to employees because they, you know, to ruin their Sunday. So I'll pile them all up in my inbox and blow them all out Monday morning. Because if they see something coming from the, me, even if they know me, they, they, it's going to ruin their soccer game or whatever they're, they're, because I like to work when I like to work. Sometimes Sunday morning is a nice time for me to work. But if I start sending notes to people, they're going to get distracted and it's going to ruin their weekend. If it's something urgent, that's a different story. But rarely is our things, most things can wait till Monday. But the balance for you, because it still sounds Turning like things on and off, yeah. So that's, you know, how do so you do it? It's, it's schedule management is the biggest thing. Okay. So you know, making sure you don't schedule meetings too early, don't schedule meetings at night. When I travel, making sure I book time to do workouts. Uh, when I was in Cincinnati a long time ago, um, my wife was home with kids and you know, she didn't have a, a lot of adult discussion during the day. We would schedule lunches, schedule lunches. So she'd get all dressed up, we'd go out to lunch. That one hour for her was magical. And my phone was nowhere, nowhere to be seen during that hour. She had a full dedicated hour. The first thing I'd tell people is whatever notifications, buzzes, vibrations, on, turn them all off. Turn them all off. So when you're with somebody, you're with them 